Hey everyone, it's time for another edition of Terror News. I'm Andrea. I'm Tyler, and here are our top stories for the week. Over the past few months, juniors, sophomores, and freshmen have prepared to take the SAT, PSAT, and the test consists of two parts, evidence-based reading and writing, and a math section. Teachers have practiced as much as they could all year to prepare students for the test. Um, well, what the test does is it really um, kind of shows what your knowledge is, and the, the PSAT, both of the PSATs, prepare you to take that other test, the SAT, which is what you send to colleges for admission. I think this test prepares you for the future because most colleges in the U.S. require, for four-year colleges, require you to take an SAT and they look at those scores. And you can take it in either one of your classes. Um. Um, I think the test prepares us for the future by um, helping us prepare for the real thing. It helps prepare us for the future. It is one of the first steps working towards my future. Well, I feel like it prepares me for the future because if I get a nice score on the test, it'll, uh, you know, make the schools that I want to go to more broader. Um, I feel like the test will help me get into colleges that I want to go to for basketball. It could also help me with, if I have a higher score, I can get to the big school I want to go to. It prepares for my future because see how I see how I can do and stuff. I think it helps us prepare because it shows what we're up against like our junior year when we actually take it. Yes, I'm kind of nervous to take the test because um, this test is before the actual test and um, the SAT test, and it. Um, and colleges look at these tests, so I'm kind of nervous. Very nervous. Today is the day that juniors take their biggest test of the year, with sophomores testing on Wednesday and freshmen testing on Thursday. We wish the juniors the best of luck and hope that they all achieve the scores they were hoping for. FCCLA had their state convention last weekend. The club focuses on improving the community, citizens, and families of America. As their motto, Towards New Horizon, goes, their goal is to focus on education of students towards a better future of America, training and competing members in fields such as culinary, arts, textile work, and child care. This is a huge opportunity for the members of the club, and many of them were excited for the event. Fashion apparel window display, and I chose fashion apparel window display because I've been doing it for the last, this is my third year doing this project, and I decided why not do it one last time. I think we did pretty okay. Um, I'm gonna find out until tomorrow how I did, but I hope I did okay with this project. We're glad to see how well the competition went for the group. For more information on FCCLA, you can ask their sponsor, Mrs. Jordan, for more information. Every week, a teacher gets picked based on their impact on students' lives, the hoops they go through for CCHS, and who they are as a teacher. Mr. Woodside is a well-deserving teacher who is named Teacher of the Week. His classroom is across from the cafeteria, and he often stands outside his door with a smile on his face as students pass him. Mr. Woodside is seen in the hall constantly, talking to his students, making sure they are doing all right in, his, in their classes. He doesn't look at teaching as a job. He looks at it to help give back to students. Academic support and math, 24 wonderful years. This has what, is what made me want to go into education, right here. Don't smile in here, you're supposed to be miserable. And then, can I ask you a question? He likes to talk about our futures a lot. He asks us what we want to do, and he tries to always support us in our decisions. If it was distance learning, I wouldn't do it. If I couldn't come every day and interact with my students and the staff, I wouldn't do this job. It's about the people. Give Mr. Woodside a high five when you see him next. He's this week's Terror Teacher of the Week. CCHS could soon be getting some much needed renovations. The Terry, the Terry Constructive CTE wing as well as the tennis courts are potentially going to be getting some nice upgrades. A possible overhaul to Hallway G in the form of labs and an expanded work area is pending school board approval. 
While the improvements of the tennis courts are already in action, they will be receiving a new bathroom and some essential new storage space. We've had the tennis courts for 12 years and we've been using porta potties for 12 years. So it's about time that they did do something at the tennis courts and now we're waiting to see them being built. We will have two bathrooms and a storage facility in between. But again, we thought we were coming back from spring break and they would be open and it's the middle of April now. So we're still apprehensive about when we're going to be able to use them, but we are excited to finally have a legitimate bathroom. The students of CCHS are waiting in angst for these restorations. Benefits could span across the school and hope and hope could be renewed for this last stretch. CCHS loves to express Terrier traits. The Terrier traits are be respectful, be responsible, be involved, be here, and be ready. The star football tr and track athlete Jake Brantley expressed the Terrier trait, be responsible. He noticed a scoring error at his O'Fallon meet on March 29th. Jake didn't think twice on correcting the scoring error, error and making sure the correct athlete, James Gunn, from Marion, Illinois, who earned the first place medal, received it. The Marion track team tweeted about the incident and was greatly appreciative of Jake's action. Shout out to Jake Brantley for showing great integrity. Thanks for watching. Tune in on Thursday for the next broadcast. Bye! <laughs> Good job, lady.